China has recently tested a groundbreaking non-nuclear hydrogen bomb that could redefine modern warfare. This weapon, developed by the China State Shipbuilding Corporation's 705 Research Institute, utilizes magnesium hydride to produce a fireball exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius, lasting over two seconds, 15 times longer than a traditional TNT explosion. Unlike conventional explosives, this bomb delivers sustained thermal damage without using nuclear materials, making it a potent tool for urban combat scenarios. This video will explore the science behind this innovative weapon and its potential applications in urban warfare. At the core of China's new non-nuclear hydrogen bomb is magnesium hydride, MGH2, a solid-state hydrogen storage material. When detonated, magnesium hydride undergoes rapid thermal decomposition, releasing hydrogen gas that ignites into a sustained fireball. This reaction generates temperatures exceeding 1,000 degrees Celsius, sufficient to melt materials like aluminum alloys. The explosion lasts over two seconds, significantly longer than the 0.12 second flash of a TNT blast, allowing for extended thermal damage across a wide area. The bomb's design enables precise control over blast intensity. Unlike traditional explosives that rely on high-pressure shock waves, this weapon produces a lower peak blast pressure, about 40% that of TNT at 2 meters, but compensates with prolonged heat output. This sustained thermal effect can be particularly effective in targeting structures and equipment without causing widespread destruction. Another striking feature is the weapon's multi-phase combustion sequence. After the initial detonation fractures the magnesium hydride, the released hydrogen combines with ambient oxygen to ignite, but the process doesn't stop there. Remaining magnesium particles continue decomposing, feeding the fireball in a controlled feedback loop. This staged ignition mechanism not only extends burn duration, but also distributes heat more evenly across the target zone. Such an effect is rarely achievable with conventional munitions and adds a new layer of tactical versatility. The development of this weapon involved overcoming significant challenges in producing magnesium hydride. Previously, manufacturing this material was limited to laboratory-scale quantities due to its high reactivity and the extreme conditions required for synthesis. However, China has established a facility in Shaanxi province capable of producing 150 tons annually using a one-pot synthesis method. This advancement ensures a steady supply of magnesium hydride for potential military applications. The successful test of this non-nuclear hydrogen bomb represents a significant leap in military technology. The design and capabilities of China's new hydrogen bomb suggest a strategic focus on urban combat scenarios. In densely populated areas with complex infrastructures, such as Taiwan cities, the ability to deliver sustained thermal damage can be particularly devastating. The weapon's prolonged heat output can penetrate buildings and underground facilities, neutralizing enemy positions while minimizing structural collapse. Taipei's urban environment, characterized by high-rise buildings and extensive underground networks, presents both challenges and opportunities for military operations. The bomb's capacity to generate intense heat over a sustained period makes it suitable for targeting fortified positions, bunkers, and subterranean defenses. This approach aligns with tactics observed in other conflicts, where thermobaric weapons have been used to clear fortified urban areas. What sets this bomb apart is its scalability. Military planners could potentially adjust the weapon's energy yield depending on the size or depth of the target. This adaptability makes it useful not only for direct attacks but also for softening defenses before troop advances. It could prove especially effective in suppressing resistance in narrow alleys or layered infrastructure areas difficult to neutralize with conventional explosives. Additionally, the weapon could serve to deny safe zones, contaminating underground shelters and command centers with extreme heat and oxygen depletion, rendering them uninhabitable for hours. In such cases, even heavily armored units may struggle to maintain their positions. The psychological impact of such a weapon cannot be understated. The sight and experience of a prolonged, high-temperature explosion could demoralize enemy forces and civilians alike. This psychological warfare component adds another layer to the bomb's strategic value, potentially compelling adversaries to surrender or retreat without prolonged engagement. 
China's development of this bomb indicates a preparedness for potential urban engagements where precision and psychological impact are crucial. The successful test of China's non-nuclear hydrogen bomb has significant strategic implications. By developing a weapon that delivers sustained thermal damage without using nuclear materials, China expands its military capabilities while avoiding the political and environmental consequences associated with nuclear weapons. This advancement could influence global military strategies and arms control discussions. The bomb's potential applications extend beyond urban warfare. Its ability to produce intense, localized heat makes it suitable for targeting critical infrastructure, such as bridges, fuel depots, and communication hubs. This precision targeting capability allows for the disruption of enemy operations without causing widespread destruction, aligning with modern warfare's emphasis on minimizing collateral damage. Additionally, the scalability of the weapon's yield and its clean detonation signature free from radioactive fallout opens new possibilities for tactical use in regions where nuclear weapon deployment would be diplomatically or legally untenable. This flexibility may grant China new leverage in both conventional and hybrid warfare operations, especially in contested zones like the South China Sea or disputed border regions. Its integration into future joint force operations, such as drone-guided targeting or satellite-coordinated strikes, could enhance efficiency and lower human risk, especially in first-strike or limited engagement scenarios. These combinations could redefine rapid response frameworks and shift how nations evaluate deterrence credibility in volatile theaters. China's investment in the mass production of magnesium hydride demonstrates a commitment to integrating this technology into its military arsenal. The establishment of a facility capable of producing 150 tons annually ensures a steady supply of the material, facilitating the development and deployment of these weapons on a larger scale. The successful development of such a weapon may also reinforce China's broader doctrine of asymmetric warfare, investing in niche, high-impact technologies that offset adversaries' conventional advantages. In this sense, the hydrogen bomb fits within a pattern of Beijing prioritizing innovation in cyber, space, and AI-based systems as part of its informatized warfare model. The introduction of this weapon could prompt other nations to explore similar technologies, potentially leading to a new arms race focused on advanced non-nuclear explosives. This development raises questions about existing arms control agreements and the need for updated regulations to address emerging military technologies. China's non-nuclear hydrogen bomb represents a significant advancement in military technology. Its development and potential deployment could reshape modern warfare, influence global military strategies, and necessitate a re-evaluation of international arms control agreements. China's successful test of a non-nuclear hydrogen bomb signals a major leap in military innovation. Using magnesium hydride to generate prolonged, high-temperature blasts, the weapon offers a scalable, non-nuclear alternative with powerful tactical impact. Its precision and psychological effects make it ideal for urban warfare and infrastructure targeting. This advancement could shift military doctrines, prompting nations to rethink conflict strategies and non-nuclear deterrence. As the global community watches closely, the rise of such weapons may demand urgent updates to arms control frameworks, ushering in a new chapter in the evolving landscape of modern warfare. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.